Last time on Strip Search. Do you feel the need? The need for speed? I'm not sure I have a need for speed. Welcome everyone to the Strip Search Grand Prix. That's badass, that's sweet as hell. <laughs> I broke the barrier wall? Among these people, I could fulfill my dream of being a race car driver. Didn't see them take stuff down. Maybe we're doing something with the convention setup again. Another merchandising challenge. Welcome back, everyone, to the Strip Search Expo 2013. Oh boy, this place brings back some bad memories. Today, you will be engaging in a long-standing convention tradition for webcomic artists: sketching for tips. I've never been a recipient of tips before, so this concept is new to me. This is something I have not really done before. I do get a little nervous drawing on command. To tell you a little bit about that, please welcome Chris Straub. <laughs> How's it going? It's going very well. Thank you for joining us. Hello, artists. Hello. Convention sketch. It's a very important part of your career as a cartoonist. It's one of the only opportunities to meet the creator of the work they love, and it's an opportunity to entice new readers. It's about managing time. Because <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not fast at drawing. One of the things that I like to do when somebody's waiting for a sketch from me is have a genuine interaction with them, if I can. The big reason I go to cons is to interact with fans, so I think this is something that I can perform strongly in. If you can have one real moment, something that they'll remember when they walk away from the table, then you've done your job. I love cons and I love interacting with people at cons. I guess I'm just kind of excited at not the challenge, but just like the aspect of this challenge. In a moment, this room is going to fill with convention attendees. Some of them have strip search pins. They are your judges for this event. They have money. They will come around and offer you $5 for a sketch and based on the quality of the interaction, they may give you an additional tip on top of that. At the end of the time, whoever has the most money is the winner. You will also each receive this 12-pack of Copic markers, courtesy of our friends at Copic, and you will have one hour. The artists are given a few minutes to rearrange their booths based on the feedback from yesterday to make sure they have space to work and to prepare their supplies for the oncoming crowd. Open the doors. What's your favorite movie? I'm giving you my $5. Ooh. All right, this is European money? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've been in town for a while? Um, I have. Actually, I'm, I'm from around here, so but I've, okay. never been, I've never been here. I pay attention to what people are saying. I try to respond in kind. I engage them on uh, a more personal level, even something like asking where a good place to go eat is. The best collection of talent in a con I've ever gone to. Wow. So I <laughs> now is where I stress out a little bit. Um, so it's mostly just like me sticking around with my friends, but I. Oh, God, Brian. Oh, no, this is a great <laughs> 
<laughs> it's, it's all right. I noticed that a couple people are going around being trolls, and I don't mind because I love interacting with people at cons, and I don't, you could probably tell I was really enjoying myself, even when Robert came and knocked over all my displays. If you become Is that an extra $5 fan, to be canon? If you tell me about Scalies some more, I just couldn't think fast enough to engage the person in front of me and like know what they were saying and also sketch at the same time. The sketch was $5. $5. Thank you. I'll stop back by later. All right, thank Thanks. you very much. It seems like Robert is going around intentionally fucking with people's merchandise. I believe it's some sort of twisted therapy for him to finally be on the other side of that aspect of the convention experience. Hello, sir. Oh, hi. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Great, great. How are you doing? I am amazing. I appreciate the marketing help. <laughs> I have never had a convention where somebody has come over and knocked over all my crap. So having people come over deliberately to try to throw you off your game is fine. You know, it's bound to happen. It's just never happened to me personally. Most people are generally respectful of, of my space. I'm, I'm pretty new to the scene, at least the convention scene. Anyway. Oh, yeah. You know, I it's been it is amazing though. It's just it's just so much adrenaline and all that. I'm just going to do what I normally do. I'm going to you know engage and interact. You know, learn. You know, find out more about the people who are coming to the booth. You know, just be courteous and fun. Find out find out what things we have in common and just riff off of that. That's awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, the uh, the fan that came by earlier was also super into N XCOM. It's a pretty good looking set of merchandise. Thank you. Yeah, it took us a little while to set everything up, but uh, it's good you so far. Did notice some stuff stolen from my booth, and uh, after I noticed it stolen, I tried to keep a, a tighter watch, but. Um, I think I managed to lose DVDs and a book. You aren't supposed to touch it like that. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Oh, How did this happen? <laughs> so you should just leave them there. Just leave them on top there. I'll, I'll deal with that later. There's all these dickheads walking around doing shit with my shit. It's like all of the worst things that could happen, except it's all at once. Hey. This table's kind of messy. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. We've yeah. had a lot of people come around today, so uh, it's not always easy to keep everything there, but. If I get a sketch, can I get a free of every other object? Uh, no, that's unfortunately not the deal today, but. Can I help you? How you doing? Great. Can I help you on anything? That's cool. Let's go ahead. Actually, you know what? Can you give me some water? Oh. I gave you like a dollar? Uh, yeah, like a dollar. Can you give me some water? Are these, do these cost less tomorrow? Or? No, these are special con prices. They'll be the same throughout the weekend. If I buy two, can I have all of the rest of them? No, sorry. Is this Not offering shirt, deals like if, that. If this shirt is damaged, can I get a discount? Uh, I, I would rather give you a, 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 a nice shirt. I wouldn't want to send you away with something threadbare. What if I damage it? I'm pretty, pretty inviting. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of the con. How can I help you? I'm a really big fan of your work. Can I have a hug? Oh, absolutely. Hope you don't mind if I reach over the table. Oh, thank you so much for I'm going to employ the same strategy I use at all conventions, which is where I try to pick out something personal about each person so I can talk to them on a more personal level. So what do you do? Uh, I'm a graphic designer. Somebody around here. Oh, cool. I, uh... I'm very impressed with graphic design because I don't have any sense for it. I try to get them to talk about themselves because uh, a lot of times when somebody's coming up here, like they come in with all this knowledge on you and it can feel super one-sided. It's on the table. You interested in buying something? Try to make sure that if somebody is waiting to at least acknowledge them and smile and let them know that you know you want their business and you want to talk to them. Do you need help? No, no, go ahead. Okay. 
All right, well, let me know if you have any questions. I'd be no happy to. No problem. I have all your stuff around, so don't worry. Okay. Robert Koo was a booth barnacle. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Koo was totally inappropriate. I love this stuff. Dude, I'm really thirsty. Oh. If you would like do a favor for me and go on a coffee run, oh, I would. Sure. I, I would... have no money though. No, no, that's cool. I, I can give you some change. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, I just, I'd really appreciate it. A booth barnacle is somebody that it's time for them to go and they just don't go. That's okay. I never leave. Oh, I've been waiting to talk to you for hours. Wow, oh, I'm Maki. Jeff, nice yes. to meet you. Yep, still doing sketches. I'm just going to finish this up, and if you'd like one, I'll take care of you right after him. Thank you so much. I don't think it's fine. Oh, thank you. Ah, you're my favorite. <laughs> okay, so I have a deal. If you buy something, I'll do a sketch for free. <laughs> Or if you just want a sketch, it's $5. I'll give you $5. I happen to have $5. Do you happen to have $5? I've said I have lots of money because people keep giving me money to okay. go away. So. Okay. All right. I'm actually thinking, like, I could win this. Everything else, I'm like, eh, whatever. It's okay if I don't. You know, it's, it's all in good fun. Da, 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 da. This one, I'm like, I could win this. This is my strong point. It's oh, amazing. How about you? Pretty good. Yeah. Ah, now it's free. What's um, what's like one of the ones you've watched recently that's really good? Because I haven't gotten into anything like super recent. For a dollar, can you sign my right ab? Yeah, why not? Wait, which one? The the my right. It's right here. One, two. If it's right here. All right, all right. You want a picture too, or yeah, just do it? Make it happen. All right, all right, all right. Well, there. Oh, there you go. That helps a lot. He comes over a second time and kind of sarcastically asks, can you draw on my abs? Which, of course I'll draw on your abs if you ask me. I, I write my name and then I realize, wait a minute, Robert's being a troll. He deserves. <laughs> so I drew a lovely dick on his abs and I hope he was pleased. Convention attendees, convention attendees. The Strip Search Expo is closing in 30 minutes. So do you do much gaming? Since we had a limited amount of time and we had to get through several judges, I decided that I was going to go super minimal on the color. I was going to try to do a nice sketch, do some decent line art with just a black pen, um, and then add a little splash of color afterwards. Do you want me to make this out to you? Oh, sure, sure. All right, and how do you spell your name again? K. Yeah, so it makes it, if somebody does have something bad to say, it's like, okay, well, that's all right. <laughs> he was making some serious mischief at our booth today. Didn't appreciate all that. Guys, I hate to interrupt you, yes. but this is my webcomic, and I just want you to check it out, and it's the best one. Just gonna, okay. You're gonna love it. Guys, it's got my URL on the back. Put a sticker on my desk. I'm not supposed to do anything to the desk. You put a fucking sticker on it. <laughs> Ten. Thank you so much. Convention attendees, the expo closes in 15 minutes. It's French. Oh, I'm gonna throw an accent in there. Uh, I really like PC games. Um, I like to play Skyrim a lot. All right. Awesome. Who can I make this out to? Make it out to K-H-A. Things are pretty hectic in here right now, and I'm pretty sure uh, Erica, Brian, and maybe Robert, if he was sneaky enough, have been shoplifting stuff. Because we've got like several DVDs here, um, a DVD. actual signage, you've got a couple books, Book. a print. Uh, how did you get away with a print? He was looking down drawing. I hadn't considered this aspect of the event. <laughs> might have been free. There was no price tag on it. M maybe someone sold a price tag. Thank you all for attending the Strip Search Expo. The convention is now closed. <laughs> The convention here was 
pretty similar to an actual convention. Um, you've got a lot of weirdos pacing around stealing stuff from your booth, uh, and mostly nice people who just want to come and talk to you. The winner will be determined by who received the most money from the judges, so the next step is to count it. I'm pretty sure I was the one with the least amount of money. I hope I did okay. I think I might have done okay. I think I did fairly well. I really, I really connected with actually a, a, a few of the, you know, a few of the judges. So, Chris, what did you see when you were walking around? Um, to be honest, saw a lot of nervousness. Mm. I saw a lot of. I had expected a more uh, natural attempt at conversation, and I wonder if people were uh, made anxious by the judges being a little bit false. Like, clearly, it's not an actual convention and they're just making conversation about a convention that doesn't exist. But I thought that there would be a little more genuine talk. I felt like I, I saw a lot of uh, people being handled more than they were actually having a uh, conversation with them. I felt extremely good about my performance. I drew for every single judge. I engaged every single person that came up to my table. I really don't know how I did. I didn't count it. I don't know where I stand. I'm honestly not that confident. All right, how did you all enjoy that? Really yeah. yeah, nice to get doing some, some really serious drawing in. Mm -hmm. I should mention that while loss prevention was not part of the challenge, the Penny Arcade staff and attendees really got into it, and y'all had a lot of stuff shoplifted. So just keep that in mind when you do do real conventions. Pertaining to the challenge, Chris, what did you see that you liked? Uh, I saw a lot of good art being done rapidly, and I was impressed with how people were banging out really nice, clear drawings, and uh, a lot of attempt made to engage the uh, attendee and entertain them for as long as they had to stand there and wait for their drawing to be made. So, uh, good stuff. The judging for this, of course, was done as you drew. You know, the judges were judging with their money. $38 separated the person with the most and the person with the least money at the end of it. But 17 of that was between first and second. The person in first place killed it. The artist who made the most money at this challenge was Tavis. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh my god, I crushed it. <laughs> Tavis is a seasoned con goer, so that does not surprise me at all. A big margin. Dude must have been rocking. I am super stoked to win a challenge. I was really, really proud of myself. Um, I was actually a little surprised that I didn't win. As a bonus for winning this challenge, you get the Black Ink Pro Kit and Airbrush Set, courtesy of our friends at Copic. Awesome. It's something that I like doing. I like being at conventions. I like talking to people. And being able to win a challenge based on that opportunity to engage with, uh, with fans is amazing. To be honest, I'm actually pretty disappointed I lost. Uh, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna cry about it, and I'm not gonna glare at Tavis too much. But, um, but yeah, I'm kinda like, oh, Like, the thing that I actually feel confident about, and I have so few of them. He's got that warm, affable personality thing going for him. I really like Tavis, so I'm glad that he, he won. And you also get the prize that nobody wants. Awesome. It is up to you to pick two of the remaining six artists to face elimination tonight. Do some thinking. While I had hoped that I had done the best, I'm not too surprised that he did. I have no idea how he'll choose. Um, Tavis is friendly with everybody. I think everybody's merit stands for itself. You know, I don't think strategy necessarily needs to be involved in this. I'm pretty sure I'm going out for elimination today. I know I say that every single day so far, but today it's like looking around, I'm the one, I'm like the weakest link right now. I'm thinking I did pretty good. Uh, without seeing the spread or getting any indication, I thought I thought it performed really well. So I'm hoping second place, third place. You know, everybody here has an amazing depth of talent. So you should be able to stand under your own merit and not have strategy come into play. Monica, Erica, and I have not been put up for elimination yet. I always, every single Elimination, I always assume I'm gonna be picked. So, me, I guess. Um, I feel like I'm probably pretty safe because my table was right next to his. So if he paid attention at all, then he may have noticed that um, I was engaging my patrons a lot. I, I'm not here to 
get involved in stereotypical reality TV show um, strategies, anything like that. I really sincerely mean it when I say I want to look beyond just the prize and look at how my being here affects my future. I have an amazingly supportive wife uh, who I love very much. We've been together for 11 years, married for six, and have a five-year-old son. So it, it plays a huge part in why I do this, and um, it just it sparks me on to put myself out there. Like I want to make myself proud. I want to make them proud. Tavis, yes, sir. Is that a hard selection for you? Uh, yes. Not having anything but the judges coming up in front of me and the people I'm interacting with to go off of is extremely difficult. I'm basing it off of the entire competition and um, in one instance just something that was running over and over in my head. All right, so who is your first pick? Uh, my first pick is Abby. Uh, throughout the competition, you've been struggling with your confidence, and I think now is the time to be confident, you know, so when you're going in there tonight, have confidence and have fun with it. Hopefully I just go up against someone who I'm evenly matched with, which is not a lot of these people. And who's your second pick? Second pick is Erica. Erica, I really don't know. She's very serious, so I don't know, but she's also really experienced. Reason for that is the only thing that was running through my head over and over again was the giant sign that says free sketch. It just kept sticking in my head that it would be the most confusing thing to have a sign that says free sketch and then be charging for sketches. That was just in my head as like a, you know, clash of, oh, well, here's money or it's free, I don't know. So that's where I was basing that off of. I was wavering about whether I should be here or not, but I do want to be here. I want to get as far as I can. I don't want to go home. I'm not ready yet. I think Erica's a strong artist and uh, quick. So I think she'll be able to, to cope with the pressure of the elimination and be able to make it back. For what it's worth, you've nominated the people that placed second and third in that competition. Erica, Abby, your bags are already packed. Come with me to meet the creators. Next time on Strip Search. She is a fucking elemental force of yeah. nature. I am extremely ashamed of this shirt. Finally got some white out. That's probably the most sass we've seen on the elimination stage. These are our wieners touching. Where are you leaning? <laughs>